Hey everybody, this is Matt Curcio and I wanted to come to you with a video on the best practices that I find when working with zip forms. We use it uh, here in New Jersey and Pennsylvania and I just wanted to kind of share uh, the cadence of how I will work with buyers and sellers using zip forms in the future. So uh, let's jump on my computer and I'm going to break it down for you right now. All right, so we're here. I logged into zip forms. Um, I basically, if if I just pre-qualified, we're going to assume I just pre-qualified someone named Mickey Mouse. And I am going to come in here and I'm going to hit my transactions button. I'm going to do a new transaction. And this is going to be purchased because he's a buyer. Then I am going to put, I, so first things first, before we have a property address, we have a consumer that needs to sign some documents in order to see homes. So we're going to put Mickey Mouse. And then if I have his address, great. If I don't, that's okay. It's going to be a residential property. And I have my buyer's agency package already made. Uh, there's another video that you guys can find that'll have how I make templates. Um, and you can pre-fill out lots of the different sections so that it's already ready for you when you get your uh, consumers out and shopping. So there we go. So we have now a client named Mickey Mouse right here. And because I applied the template or if I forgot to put a template on at that point, I can just click here, pick any of my templates and apply it. Um, but before I go and look at the documents, I wanna add some information, all right? So I'm gonna make in this case, Mickey at test.com, 123. All right, so that information, you want their address, email because you're going to use DocuSign or whatever software you use. I like using what's in zip forms already for us uh, in New Jersey. It's, it includes something called uh, AuthentiSign. So you can save this person to the transaction. So I'm going to hit save or your address book in case you're going to do multiple transactions. So now everywhere it asks for a buyer in these templated forms, all the details are going to come up. Me as the selling agent. And then if you happen you know, once you're under contract or have a listing attached to it, the sellers will import the other agents and all that stuff. So let's jump into the document section. So this is where um, now I can preview my buyer's agency documents. And from here, I'm going to drag up what's missing. And then let's say in this case, they did not have the CIS. So I'm gonna search right here. This, I'm gonna hit add, close. And now the consumer information statement jumped in. As you can see here, it put under buyer, Mickey Mouse, where he belongs. Me as the agent, the company I work for. You will check off whichever agency you want, your percentages that you charge, um, and then the rest of the documents, you can check off whatever boxes apply to that particular consumer and add additional contract provisions or not. We have a um, affiliated business disclosure form that's required for our brokerage because we own a mortgage company. So that we always get signed up front as well. And our agency agreement, right? And what type of agent we are for uh, or who we're working for. In this case, add me. There you go for buyers. And that's it. So once I fill out all the check boxes, now I can just click here, hit prepare signing. And this is going to be And then I don't use this return folder. I don't, I just let it go back to the main folder, um, which is now the Mickey Mouse folder, right? So create. I'll 
I'll walk you through real quickly how to do a quick e sign. All right, so add signers from transaction, Mickey Mouse and Mac Hersio, select. Now, the great thing about zip forms when it has its own stuff is it's going to put everybody's signatures where they belong. So as you can see, me as a broker, an agent, Mickey Mouse here and here. And then this one, you're gonna use the tools section and you're gonna switch over to Mickey Mouse. Anything, anything that zip forms did not create um, that you're gonna to have to add the signature boxes. So you can sign, add a checkbox, initials, all these different fields can come in here, right? And then CIS already has everything where it needs to be. All right, then you're gonna hit next and send. So that is, that's generally how I start the transaction. All right, now I'm gonna back out of this software here and I'm gonna assume we have a deal. So, and show you where I take off from there. All right, so now we're gonna jump in from, uh, we went out shopping, we found a house, so I need to make a contract, whether it's an offer or an actual contract because you got an offer accepted. Uh, let's jump in and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard, go to transactions. This one is named Mickey Mouse. So I'm gonna edit the transactions and now I'm gonna give it an actual property address. So 123. Uh, let's see, let's do one, two, three, Disneyland. So let's say that's the address. Now the file is going to be in there as a street address, which is how all your files should end, right? Um, next, I am going to connect. I'm going to use one of my current listings right now, but I'm going to hit the MLS connect button. I'm gonna grab my listing here. If it was a co-op listing, you know, in your MLS, it'll come in here. And ask it to find it and include the photo. The neat thing about what this does is this actually gets the um, seller's information, the listing agent's information, and it actually imports all that data so that you can, um, so you don't have to fill it out on all the different fields. Right, picture of the house, hit import. And yes, I want to add the fields. So what's neat about this is under parties, the other side will populate in a second here. Oops, summary, you can see it brought in all the information about this property. Now it's got me as the other agent. And if the tax record was correct, it would bring in uh, seller, it, obviously you would not have their email addresses and things like that. So if you were making a contract, two things I, uh, two things I consistently do. Number one, I always have my sign, my side signed first because all of the fields populate. So I don't need to send it to the other side, have them sign it. Then I got to go drag and drop fields using, uh, the signature software, whether it's in zip forms or any other one. Um, but I always ask the other agent, hey, would you like me to save us all some time and add your client's information? In that case, I'm just going to need their email and um, you know we can take it from there. So uh, we're in this folder right now. So I'm going to go back to the summary section and I'm going to say, apply my template. And this is going to be the buyer residential contract. That's now applied. So now... You're able to come in and see all these different things. And again, I said earlier, um, I, I have a template email, I'm sorry, a template video for you guys to watch in another section. So check that out. But what I have in my template is every addendum that, I, that is common to my marketplace. So I don't forget anything. And that's what I tell all the agents that I train, like just put lead, put uh, concessions. Um, solar is is something that people don't think about private well, private sewage, all that stuff. Have it all here, and then you can drag up and use whatever you want. All right, so let's jump in and modify a contract a little bit, and then I'll show you that you can just jump right back in to sending it out for signature.
All right, so we're here. The form just loaded up, and here's what I do. You have all these from the folder, okay, all the additional documents. So in this case, we already had the CIS, the agency, and all that done. Um, now, like I said, I have all the addendums here, but let's say this one didn't was an FHA, but it does have solar. Um, there is a private well on the property, and it's old enough for lead paint. You just grab them, drop them, drop them, drag drag them up, and then start filling out your data. All right. So Mickey Mouse is buying uh, lives at this address, buying from seller test. And this is the property as a sample. And then you would go in, fill out your details of the contract, check off the appropriate boxes for the rest of the contract. And then in your addendums, you'll add uh, in the back here, you can check off and that will pull in more addendums. Um, and then that's really it, right? So then the reason I have my clients sign first is because I can just hit prepare signing. And then I always rename the signing name to what it is. So this is going to be one test. Contract. And I'm going to create that. So now participants. Okay. Again, add from transaction. We're going to do listing agent, selling agent, buyer one, seller one, select. It automatically filled this out. The one spot it does miss in the New Jersey contract is this spot. So you're going to go to tools and listing agent. You got to drag out listing broker and buyer's agent, selling agent, they call it, is here. Um, but other than that, all the fields have everything where they need to be. All the signature spots, um, again, anything that you import into the actual file um, from your desktop or anywhere else, any PDFs, you'll have to add signature fields. But what I do here is I let the software do its thing. And then when it comes to signers, the other agent, let's say, didn't auto-populate with an email. Um, or I want that agent to get the signature, whether it comes in, you know, at seven o'clock or 10 o'clock at night, I would change this signature to, you know, all right, we're going to go to the listing agent. So in this case, I was the buyer's agent and I'm going to say, you're not a remote signer. I just want you to get a copy. Or if the lender, if I was the last signature on this carbon copy them in and then hit save. And then once the document's complete, they will get an automatic copy. Just be careful with that. Sometimes you may not want things to happen automatically. You may want to receive it and then forward it out later. Uh, totally up to you and your business practices. Check with your brokers uh, or any people that help you in the real estate business. Um, so then I would just hit next and go to go through walking through the rest of the signature stuff. And that's about it. So that's how quickly you can do uh, a buyer's package. On the listing side, I do the same exact thing. Our listing starts with um, a listing package, right? The listing agreements. Then we have the buyer or the seller's information all filled out. And if I get a buyer uh, or a offer from another agent where the seller accepts it, then we put all that data in, let our client sign first, carbon copy the agent, send it, and they get it and then it comes back to us fully signed to eliminate time and more stuff to do. So I hope that's helpful for you. If um, you ever need anything, just reach out. All our contact information is on the page.